All right, guys, welcome back. I'm just going to do a real quick voiceover intro to this awesome day of fishing. I got an invite from Glenn Geisel. He owns Sebago Sport Fishing Guide Service, and he messaged me and wanted to know if I wanted to go down to Sebago and fish for a day, and I happily accepted. So Riley and I went down and fished for a day, and we caught a ton of fish. We boated over 30 fish, lost probably 15, and we were just hammering the lake trout uh, the entire time we were down there. And Glenn was super knowledgeable. He knew the lake really well. It's a really big lake. His gear was top notch. His boat was super comfortable. We had 20 mile an hour winds and the boat was comfortable all day. And if you guys are interested in checking out his guide service, I'll leave some info right here. And I'll also leave some information down in the description. But we're gonna get right into it guys. Hopefully you enjoy. And we're gonna start where we started today. Another fish on that? Yeah. Yep. Another fish on that really. Just... Yeah. Reel it in. It's all you, Ray. First one. That's been down literally what, like not even a minute? Right. <laughs> 30 seconds. Yeah, we're only in 30 feet of water, too. Nice job, Bray. How far down was that one? Uh, I had it set at 20 feet. Nice. First hook up on yeah, Sebago. That, that was insane. That was in the water probably not even a minute. Right. Lake trout. There you go, Rye. First fish. Nice job, Rye. High five. Nice job. Riley's first lake trout. That's your first lake trout? Is it? Oh, sweet. Literally not even in there for a minute. No, it weren't. I looked over. I'm like, that looks awfully fishy to me. <laughs> There you go, Roy. Nice job. That's a nice lake. No, it's a lake trout. All right, I'm just gonna dump this one. First laker. He's gone. Insane, guys. This rod was down no more than a minute, and that lake trout hit. Riley, if you if you see a rod bouncing, let us know, okay? See how that one's just kind of slowly going? If you see it bouncing real fast, let us know, okay? Especially after cancer treatment. There we go, right there. Here you go, Ray. It's all you. Yep, fish on, Ray. It's all you, Ray. Oh, another one right there, yep. Oh, that's too bad. Look at all the fish down there. So what we're looking at. Some of this activities are downrigger balls, but most of that's fish. That one looks a little decent, Rye. That one looks better than the last one. What do you think, Rye? Does it feel bigger? Yeah, it's like big. Uh, yeah, maybe same. Yeah, a little bigger, maybe. Oh, we got one right here. Yeah. Double dot. Yeah, that's a, that's bigger than the last one, right? Lost that one right back there on the prop wash. Oh, I lost it right there at the prop wash. Oh, really? Yep. Okay, he'll take the rod from you. Perfect. Look at the belly on that one. Yeah, great full of allies. Yep. Great stuff full of them. Makes a lot less fast. Oh, yeah. Give me some knuckles, Rye. Ow. That was quite a bit bigger than the last one. Yeah, that one made my fingers hurt. Oh, Jesus. You are two for two, Rye. Glenn lost one and I lost one. I've got two. We can't keep up with you. So the rain's dying down a little, but... Got some pretty good waves coming in. Probably 20 mile an hour wind. Got, I don't know, probably three foot swells, probably. 
You want me to get this one right? Yeah, one on over there too. Really? Let me get that one. Yeah, take that one. All right, first one for me. Tangled a little bit. A little bit of a trolling mess back there. You want to hold on to that rod? Yep. This one, uh, this one wrapped up in the other line. Coming up behind us. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of food. He says, uh, hey, you guys catching anything? Yes, sir. Look at him, Look at him Dad. <laughs> yeah, I see him. <laughs> yeah, seagulls know we're catching some fish. Yep. No, when I was younger. And, uh, oh, I right there. Almost... Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Oh, two in a row. Lost one off the downrigger ball and lost the leg core. Being fussy today. Fish on, Rye. Leg core. You want it? You want me to get it? Feels like we're digging. We're out about 10 colors of lead core on this one too, so we're dragging in a bunch of lead core weight. Another 200 feet, guys. So what it says on the line counter. All right, we got them, guys. We got them. Huh. Oh, bit it right there. Probably the size of the one Riley got. That last bigger one that Riley got. What's your biggest lake trout out of here? I got one this spring of 23 pounds. Nice. So yeah, I have a I have a pretty good judge of what the fish what those lake trout feel like now. Yep. I've got I've got that 23 pounder in the spring and I've probably got a dozen fish that are 15 to 15 to 20 pounds in here. Nice. Oh, fish are here. You want it right? Lead core is getting it done today, guys. Hopefully we can keep this one pinned. Fish are deceiving. When you're fishing this much lead, it make the fish seem a lot bigger. Didn't lose it. Just a little guy, guys. Yeah, no, that's a mint spot. I mean, that you can't ask for a better, yeah, during, better spot. I, I just, I walked. Oh, fish right here. Yeah, there you go. Right. Boy, they're just barely hitting today. Yeah, they're fussy. I'd say that's a swim. Oh, right there, right. Yeah, I think that one's a swing and a miss. Yeah, this is going to be a better fish. Get it. Oh yeah, that's definitely a better fish. Yeah, this is definitely a better fish, no question. This is just steady weight, guys. Not even really feeling a bunch of head shakes. All right, guys, we're at 300 feet. We've got a football field to go. I don't know, guys. Lead course seems to be the trick today. 175 feet, making progress. Still feels big, certainly bigger than any that I've caught. How big do you think it is, Dad? I'm guessing eight pounds. Eight? That's my guess. Should we weigh it? What's your guess? As long as it's not foul hooked, I'm guessing eight pounds. 75 feet, guys, we're getting there. 30 feet. Should be seeing it here any second. Trying to get the reel out of the way. All right, got some color. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah, not bad. Got him. I haven't seen that. Oh, fish right there. I got it. Let me see. I'll take it. That's another decent one, right? I'll take you it. You got it. That one's relatively decent, right? It's going to be a five pounder anyway. Yeah. Ah, uh, he's off. Yeah, he threw it. Come on. Yeah. There you go, guys. Pretty That's good. Really nice. Give you a little better shot of it here in a minute. All right, there we go, guys. I think biggest of the day, probably five, six pounds. Nice liquor. All right, guys. So this is a guy you got to check out. SebagoSportFishing.com. Glenn Geisel. Um, probably one of the best days I've had fishing in a long time. Certainly the best trout um, day I've ever had. How many fish do you think we boated total? 30. 30, yeah, easy. Yeah, around 30, maybe more. Yeah, lost probably what, 15? So yeah, if you guys want some uh, good lake trout fishing, make sure to give this guy a call. He'll certainly uh, get you on some fish. And this is the guy's license plate, Toganator. You know you like lake trout fishing when you have a license plate like that. Yeah, I saw that when I came in. I'm like, you know you're a guide when you have a license plate like that. <laughs> Pretty creative. So Can't yeah. thank you enough. Oh, no problem. It's great to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you to too. Meet you. Yeah. Heck so of a day. I look forward to it. And... Yeah. Yep. Well, all right, cool you got to get down there and get cleaned up. Hey, it was great to meet you. You Goodness did very well me. today. What do you say, Ray? Thank you. You're a very good kid. Your, your dad's lucky to have you. Yeah, no, I'm very fortunate. So fishes, snowmobiles, target practices once in a while. You're one of the first ones I haven't had to throw overboard. <laughs> yep, she's pretty all good. Right. Thank you. Thank you again. Wait.